I want to start by putting water wisteria in the background because it should grow quite tall and quickly. Now that I have the water wisteria in place, I'll add some more plants. Here's some hygrophilia. It should also grow quite tall, so I'll try to get it in the background. Bacopa does grow tall, however it is very narrow, so I believe it should look very nice in the foreground. I'm not sure if Rotala indica and Rotala rundifolia are the same species or simply different variants of the same species. I've heard conflicting reports on that. But the various variants or in fact species 
look very nice growing together. This is my latest attempt at a 10 gallon aquascape for cherry red shrimp. I'm using black diamond blasting grit on top of compost that's processed horse manure. It's been baked and chopped and shredded so it's not very offensive it just basically smells like dirt and I've added various species of plants mostly rotala but also cabamba java moss and water wisteria which should grow very quickly and hopefully help to I'll compete algae for nutrients. I added a dozen of the best cherry shrimp from a 10 gallon colony that's doing very well. It's not a it's not the best colony to look at. It's not a true aquascape. It just has gravel for substrate. But I added compost to it as well so it grows plants quite well. And took some java moss from a 20 gallon tank. It's not a shrimp colony, it has white cloud mountain minnow and a couple of amano shrimp. But the java moss was overgrowing the scape in that tank. And it is free of pest snails and limpets, so I didn't have to soak it in alum solution before tucking it between the pieces of Mopani driftwood in this scape. But with about a dozen of the best cherry shrimp, I, I'm still not very adept at sexing them, but I got a few small specimens, so hopefully a few are males. If not, perhaps some of the nice red large females that I caught have already been inseminated and should drop some shrimplets in this tank and if that happens it should be good to go. Some shrimp experts cull their tanks and remove lower grade specimens from colonies but I thought well since I do make an attempt at a new aquascape periodically maybe a couple of times a year Maybe my best option would be to take the best shrimp and add them to a new colony rather than spend so much time culling them. In this way eventually I should wind up with very high grade shrimp. Here on the left side of the tank you can see that the intake of the hang on the back filter has a intake sponge on the end. I'm not sure if shrimplets could escape the flow of this hang on the back filter so just in case I have the sponge in place to keep them safe. Here's a look at the left side of the tank. These fine pieces of Mopani driftwood make for an interesting aquascape. 